Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast. This week, we're joined by the Russell Band, and we're going to recap Chachi Place for kids this past weekend. House of Cards is a worth watching. Are the zombies really coming? And so much more. Awesome Cast. Awesome cat 136. I'm Mike Sword here in the studio in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to get awesome with you guys on the couch with me. He's running for Pope. He is Chachi. <laughs> I am running for Pope. He's running for Pope. Hashtag Chachi for Pope. <laughs> Hashtag Chachi for Pope. Starting now to all your friends. Yes. It yes. is amazing. It is a fresh off of his Chachi Plays for Kids. Which is my awesome thing of the week. Which is your Woo! awesome thing of the week. Okay, we'll get right back into that then. How are you feeling? You recovering okay? Uh, you know what? Honestly, this was the hardest one ever. Really? Well, if you do the math, previous years, we'd only been up for, uh, you know, like 30 hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this year, I was up for 36 to 38 hours. It was hard. All right, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. And also with us joining us from San Antonio, Texas. Is that right? You're, you're out of college yeah. again, right? Yeah, yeah still, in, still in the uh, grand old land of, he usually joins grand old land of San Antonio, Texas. He's our indie correspondent for the Wrestling Mayhem Show. He has a blog at WrestleFanWrites.blogspot.com. At the WrestleFan, Eamon Payton. Hey, how's it going, awesome casters? Apparently I was good enough the last time I was on the show to be back. So Yay! I... I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know why you allowed me to come back, but I'm I'm honored in some form or fashion. Well, it's good to have you. I know we get a little bit of a uh, Texas, uh, uh, I don't know, is San Antonio a flyover state or a flyover town? Sure, why not? Yeah, no, what? I mean, what, how big is San Antonio compared to Pittsburgh? You've been here. And, uh, you know, it'd be fair. I think it'd be fairly the same. Maybe it's maybe Pittsburgh probably a slightly bit larger, but really, really, San Antonio is smaller than Pittsburgh. I, Hmm. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd say. I mean, Wikipedia. Wikipedia that? Yeah, population <laughs> size. Population I'll, I'll size. get back to you as Sorg does his uh, does right, his thing. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do that with your awesome thing or something. I don't, I don't know. Whatever you want to do there. Well, anyways, guys, like I said, this is your awesome cast. Chosh is putting the dance down. He stopped. Uh, who's in dancing? Yeah, okay, okay. We're going to start again. Uh, this is where we get awesome, talk about tech. Uh, we're here live every Tuesday at live.servitronmedia.com, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you can ca you also uh, uh, catch up with us on Twitter, uh, at AwesomeCast. We're on Facebook. We're on Google Plus as well. Uh, you can find all the past episodes and all the links and stuff at AwesomeCast.com. Drop us an email at contact at AwesomeCast.com. Uh, and get geeky with us, guys. Uh, we're also available on iTunes, Roku, Blip TV, YouTube, and Stitcher in video and audio formats. Uh, so get at us however uh, you want to. Like I said, we could, we're, we'd like to represent, you know, kind of the middle states. You know, we're not East Coast. We're not West Coast. We're just representing the guys that have been forgotten about in tech. <laughs> and, and we like to get geeky with our friends and and, uh, and and have fun with it. So let's get right into it with the awesome thing of the week. A little initial we started here at the beginning of the year. Uh, Achachi, do you want to go first? You got something like this. Well, we already started talking a little bit about it, so let's just go right back into it. Chachi plays for kids. Yeah, we completed our third event, mm -hmm. raising uh, $4,228. Mm -hmm. And completing the circuit and making it on all of the major news networks in Pittsburgh. Now, I got to see none of them. <laughs> Really? I got to see none of them. I saw them all. You saw them all. Yeah. Of, uh, what, a neighbor DVR'd them for you, yeah. right? It was, it, it was interesting. Um, I'm happy to say yes. that WPXI did not use any of the snarkiness. Good, good, um, good, good. They, they completely <laughs> no, left that part to out. To be fair, none of the questions they were asking you. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, the guy came in. And the way we had done it previously is that since I was playing video games, mm. uh, they didn't want to bother me, which it wasn't really bothering me. They could have come over and talked to me. They just shouldn't have expected my full attention. No, no. And it would have been completely fine had they come over and talked to me. And I took but, the bullet. But, they, but instead, they requested to talk to someone else. Um, Missy wasn't there when KDKA showed up first, so we sent Mike, and that was the... That was the trend for the rest of I it. I tried to pass it off, too. I know. I see it. Like, the next morning, I knew it was going to go bad, and it did go bad. 
<laughs> but uh, I'm like, I've been up. This is a bad idea. To and the funny thing is, I had just sent a text message out to someone that said that uh, Kenny Ka and WTAE showed up, mm-hmm. that, which means WPXI has three hours to show up, or I'm done watching them. And they were under the wire, man. Yeah, and they showed up with like two and a half hours to go. Mm-hmm. Um. So I continue to watch WPXI in the morning. But uh, they talked, they, they came in and uh, they're like, all right, well, can we interview some people? And so we sent Mike. <laughs> they just send me. Yeah, you know, so we, we sent Mike to go stand in front of the, the camera and tell him about the event and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then they threw a curveball. They're like, well, can we talk to you? Now, PXI, though, is the only one that, that sent a reporter. Right. Everybody else was just a cameraman, like holding up a mic and stuff. So it kind of made sense. I, I think they were just like happy enough talking to one person and, right. you know, taking care of, you know, getting some shots. And that was it. Um, and I only, I, I don't think they used, did they use any of my interviews for any of them? Mm-hmm. I, they did actually. Yeah. Okay. Because I, 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 I didn't think it's. They didn't like use they as much as you recorded. They oh, just cut out no, little no, no, snippets. No, 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 but, no. They never do. Yeah. 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 Um, and then uh, it, it, they finished with you and they're like, well, can we talk to him? Yeah. And uh, we're like, yeah, sure. Um, if, you, if you want to. We're not going to be terribly excited. Yeah, I'm like, I'll, I'm going to be doing this, and I can't promise you the answers will be coherent. But And so uh, we're sitting there playing, and they asked why why I chose to do this. And so I said I'd give them back to the community. Mm-hmm. And I, mm-hmm. then it started getting off track a little bit. <laughs> like, he started asking me questions about, like uh, – he, the question that started the uh, the downward spiral is, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite video game? Oh, God. Well, now I, I have a Triforce tattooed on my hand. Yeah, yeah. Not like, that they know what that is. No, they don't know what that is. <laughs> but uh, So, obviously, my favorite video game is Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm going to explain it, but the people listening to this show should probably know this. But Legend of Zelda is an RPG. Yeah. There's no points yeah. in RPG, okay? <laughs> it, it, it's an adventure game. You go through, you save the princess to the end. Well, it, his next question was, oh, well, what's your high score in that game? <laughs> now, this is an older fella. This guy doesn't, I, right. this guy's never picked up a controller in his life. Come on. I mean, he's like asking like, hey, was, didn't he ask like, 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 well, you know, what happens after you save the princess or something like that? Like, I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> and, uh. And so, uh, and mind you, this is around five five thirty. We go until oh, seven seven p.m. to seven p.m. <laughs> yeah, we go until seven p.m., which means I've been up now for thirty four hours, thirty four and a half hours straight. Um, and uh, he's like, "Well." It, it, what's your high score? And at which point I'm like, well, Legend of Zelda is, an, is a role playing game. It's an adventure game. There's not really points. And he's like, well, what? What do you do? I'm like, well, the object is to save the princess. And out of nowhere, he's just like, well, what happens after you save the princess? <laughs> what happens now? And I'm like, the game is over. <laughs> you live happily ever after. So <laughs> they didn't use any of this stuff, right? No, they <laughs> used absolutely none of the snark. They left that completely out. And in, in retrospect, I feel terrible that I was so shitty with the guy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they were such dumb questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, I'm just like, uh, what do you mean? What happens after you save the princess? There's a parade. You get a ribbon. I so I WPXI gentlemen, I apologize for being an asshole, but don't ask me dumb questions at thirty four and a half hours. Um, and and the reason why this this one was harder than the rest of them is because typically I try to sleep in until eleven or twelve. And then get up, and that's when I get a move on and start getting shit done. However, I could not sleep in. I woke up the first time at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, oh, no, this is not happening. This is not happening at all. 
So I I, sh- I covered my head up with a pillow and blanket. I'm like, you are going back to sleep. And I fell asleep, woke up like two hours later. I'm like, shit. I'm like, it's nine o'clock now. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to lay here and pretend I'm not awake yet. So, I, I mean, I, I, all, all, when it was all said and done, I had been up since nine o'clock. So come nine o'clock that night, that was already 12 hours. Nine o'clock the next morning was another 12 hours, which took us to 24. And then 70 or at seven o'clock. That's what another nine hours. Mm-hmm. So, I, I mean, by the time I got to bed, it was nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock and I'd been up for 36 hours. I, it was bad enough because uh, your brother, uh, your br- brother Sorg of the show, friend of the show, uh, had reserved the three three a.m. time slot, <laughs> and uh, you know what? No, I am not mad at him because he was smart enough to realize that I was nodding off. <laughs> he, he 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 was there all. He stayed awake the whole time with us the entire the entire event, like he has uh, since we started it. And I'm glad he, he does. It's such a big help. Mm-hmm. And he decided he wanted to play Minecraft or he wanted me to he wanted to make me play Minecraft, which I'd previously said I wasn't going to play. And so we were going through and seriously, after like the first 20, 25 minutes of it, I started falling asleep. And so he, he pulled up uh, one of the worlds he had created uh and we ended up playing this for three hours. And what were because, you doing during those three hours? And you can see it on the video a little yeah, bit of if, what if was you, happening. If, you, if you're watching the video, I, I figured out how you could dump lava everywhere. <laughs> uh, so I, was, I spent two and a half hours covering this world he had made in lava. <laughs> in creative ways. Yeah. And anytime he like his, he was sitting there building stuff as we went, so I would sneak over when he wasn't paying attention, and start a flow of lava down the side of it, <laughs> or start destroying his wall. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it it was entertaining. That's my awesome thing of the week. Awesome. And there you cool. go. There you go. It was a good time. It was a good time. And, and I, I I really enjoyed. It. I, I, I tweeted one time like the really you fell cool. Asleep. What you fell asleep? I did fall asleep while and tweeted. I fell apparently. I fell asleep yet still live tweeted the event. <laughs> yeah, uh, at some point. Now, what, what, explain your side of this because apparently <laughs> uh, we're sitting there. We're uh, as the uh, the event goes on and it gets late. Uh, people start going out and eventually it whittles down to just being a few of us. Yeah, and, it was and, just the three of us. Yeah, it's usually... Uh, oh, and the Tunisian person that right. was left there. That, um, that was the poor, poor intern. <laughs> but uh, I didn't uh, realize she was like 17. <laughs> yeah, uh, she hung in there. She was she a did. trooper. She did. And, and uh, I feel that we treated her well. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I mean, anytime someone got up to get something, I'm pretty sure we offered her something. I gave her coffee. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, and she. And no offense to the rest of the staff, but she seemed like the one that was interested in it the most mm-hmm. because she wasn't at the front desk. Yeah, like after uh, their cl- after they closed, uh, <laughs> she was smart enough to hang a sign on the door that said "Knock if you're here for Chachi Plays," mm-hmm. and she grabbed the chair and came and sat with us. Mm-hmm. And we sat there. We started watching. Uh, we used one of the spare TVs and the, the PS2. We watched Ted. And we gave it a little <laughs> break. And then we watched, uh, we Scott put in Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. And about halfway through Scott Pilgrim, I looked over and Sorg's asleep. And I took a break from putting lava down. And I look at my phone and like 30 seconds before I looked over to see Sorg asleep was a tweet sent out from the Chachi Plays account, <laughs> which Sorg had be- been manning. <laughs> <laughs> so either he sleep tweeted or... <laughs> He sent it out and fell asleep in like twenty seconds. <laughs> it's completely possible. It, it's completely uh, I was possible. Just... I just remember I kept coming to and I missed another boyfriend battle in Scott Pilgrim. And so <laughs> and it was it was just hilarious because it, we were sitting there and I just look over and he's asleep. I go back to pouring lava. I look back and he's up. You can kind of see me nodding off in the <laughs> yeah. time lapse that we posted too. Um, but as far as I know, he was completely asleep when he sent that tweet at 3 a.m. 
yeah it was a good time it, it, and i really enjoyed like like there there are points where people like went came and just like just like picked up the controller started playing like wwe <laughs> it was, and, just, and i don't have a problem with watching that. everybody yeah you just gather around video games the mario kart tournament street fire tournament I, I think the tournaments really helped out because it got people in there throughout the day. Yeah, uh, that in was... and out. We got to see different faces, you know, that, that usually everybody comes. I noticed less people seem to be there the night before, but they were spread out this this time throughout the entire event. And that's right. Great. Uh, that's great. We had more tournaments, so there was no need for everyone to flood in during the Tetris tournament, which mm-hmm. was the only mm-hmm. one. So people could pick and choose what they wanted to be there for. Mm-hmm. So it was, worked out. It, it was really, yeah, it worked out really well. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, and, and so we'll just improve on that for next year. Yep. So. I'm I'm seriously thinking a tournament every three hours. Yeah, yeah. Except for like at the early hours oh, when no we one's do, going to we be. do a three a.m. Call of Duty tournament. We throw down. Just just <laughs> do it, man. Just <laughs> do nothing, it. Nothing what, than Call what of is Duty the at thing that makes sense at three in the morning? I don't think anyone would show up. That's the thing. I think they would. I think for this they would. I don't think I they really would. I really think for this they would. But for, yeah, uh, yeah, just stay up with Chachi with shit. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Except for the early morning, I'm thinking a, a tournament every three hours. Mm-hmm. Hey, I want to throw this out there. I, I meant to do this before we did awesome thing of the week, but okay, Rob's been noticeably absent since yeah. well the Christmas episode. Did we now, lock him in the closet? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, but he, there, he did uh, tweet out a picture last week. Uh, obviously, big stuff going on. He works down there at Iron Tank. They make really cool shit. Pretty sure we kidnapped him. There, um, uh, no, we didn't kidnap him. Are you sure? Uh, I'm pretty sure. He, uh, you know, he travels. They make cool stuff. Remember, I hear him. He's Southwest. in the closet. Remember the South by Southwest? His company did the, the phone booth. What? what, Rob? Someone's trapped in the quarry? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, South by uh, Southwest. So, yeah, they, you know, they did the big screen for Pepsi and everything. So right. they were doing really cool stuff. So, um, I, 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 so he tweeted this last week. So this is in their studio. So this Are you allowed is, to be showing this? I, well, he tweeted it, so I have to be allowed to be showing it. Okay. Um, I, that's all I can do. Uh, so you <laughs> see you, your audio. There's this big structure uh, going on uh, here. And now now this is, you know, they, they have a pretty high ceiling, you know, big warehouse-y kind of place. Um, looks like they're, they're doing something with glass there. It could be pretty interesting. Now, these guys, you know, of course, they've done some stuff with some, uh, you know, he's told us a bit before about his... Uh, uh, work with like uh c3 lcds and stuff i think there's some other cla- interesting glass things they're going to be doing there uh so uh there you go if you want to see what he's doing he's been tweeting instagramming stuff he does it all the time from from what he does the stuff he can show there uh, uh at rob jdlc uh, on twitter so yes and i think it's the same thing on instagram as well but it all gets it's tweeted out uh so go check that out he, he does he just has one of the cool jobs where he just makes really cool stuff yeah he, he's He's an extremely busy man. Yes, yes. But like, it's, it's I don't like, think he good, has. It's a good busy. Though. I don't. Like, I, I don't think he has a life other than work. But but you know really really if if that was the kind of work I was doing. Well, I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad <laughs> thing. I'm just saying at this point of the year, he's so busy that he wakes up early, he goes to work, he stays late, he goes home, he sleeps, and he repeats it. Just because they have so much going on right now and so many conferences and everything they have to get ready for mm-hmm. and big projects like they're like he's been tweeting out that yeah, yeah. Rob just doesn't have time. So maybe one day I'll let Rob out of the closet. <laughs> and Josh, the camera's on you. It doesn't work. Oh, that way. And he'll be back. <laughs> uh, but my awesome thing of the week. Oh, no, where I can pull it up here. So Netflix premiered House of Cards last week. Have you got a chance to watch it, there, no. Josh? It, I don't know if it'd be up your alley there. It's a little. Uh, it's very political. I watched West Wing in like two weeks. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is is. It doesn't get more political than West Wing. <laughs> uh, so I was interested. I'm, I'm not using the big political thing, but again, I'm on the kick with West Wing. I'm I'm through like season three. I try to catch a couple episodes wherever I can. Um, and uh, I watched the crap out of it. Just that. Martin Sheen for president. Martin Sheen yeah. for president, right? Yeah. Um. So, uh, black psych for uh, assistant. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually very reserved. I got to an episode where he started arguing with someone. It's like, yeah, it's black psych. Okay. Well, um, anyways, wait until later. Wait until later. Wait until later. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 He started. He started fighting with the um the um uh press not the press secretary. Yeah, the press secretary Terry. Later, he becomes uh, assistant to chief of staff. Ooh. So he's responsible for a lot more. I can do a point. Does Rob Lowe become president? 
Rob Lowe. Yeah. No. Because he, he because he was told he could become president. I can tell you the end of it. If Don't you tell me to. the end of it. No, no, no. No, I mean, I can tell you what happens with Rob Lowe. No, tell me what happens with Rob Lowe. Okay. I, I don't know much about West Wing. I just <laughs> want to kind of keep it that way. Uh, anyways, House <laughs> of Cards. Yeah. House of Cards. House of Cards. The first big production. Kevin is, Spacey. It's Kevin Spacey. Uh, I think it's his company. Uh, what is it? Trigger Street, I think it is. Um, uh, it, it, First official production by Netflix. They had a release last year. Um, what was it Lockheed? Something, something, something from Sweden. It had one of the guys from The Sopranos with it. So it was really kind of one of those. Which one? I, I can't remember the name of it. Something. Was it James Gandolfini? Lin, 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 Linheim or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was a Netflix original, technically. But it was something that was produced like in Sweden. And they brought it over, kind of like a the 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 British stuff that comes over on Hulu that you see all the time. The Canadian stuff like Booth at the End. That's like, like kind Power of Rangers. misplaced. Not Power Rangers. Created no, <laughs> no, purpose. no. I mean like stuff that's like from like the for... BBC, <laughs> and they brought it over here, or like like Whites or 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 uh, so like or Power Spy Rangers. or stuff. Not like Power Recorded Rangers. Japan, no. Re- Packaged for America. No, no. Anyways, anyways. The whole point is, this is the first one where Netflix has gone and financed this thing, ordered this thing, have rights to it uh, uh, here in, the, in in America, uh, putting it out much like HBO would typically do, like a Deadwood or a or an frame. Oz or something like that. We we lost the frame. Yeah, the, like, fr- the frame isn't all. <laughs> You're so distracted. Let me finish the story. <laughs> I was looking at you and I noticed the that the frame was gone. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, had to tear yeah, down all the cameras for, that, the, for that, that, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Power House of Cards, <laughs> Sweden, Lynch Ham. So and I'm interested because it's Kevin Spacey. Right. Kevin Spacey talks to the camera. And right. I can just listen to Kevin Spacey talk to the camera all day, to be honest. Really? Even though I don't understand half of the politics that are happening there. Um, I watched a movie today where he was a pothead. <laughs> I finally watched Usual Suspects a couple weeks ago. Never, never. Now I know the uh, the uh, Kaiser Sose uh, gags gotcha. that was in a podcast I happened to listen to this week. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> so first big production. Uh, uh, they're gonna, of course, Rest of Development. They're bringing back on here. They have other things. Uh, it sounds like it's in the works. Uh, so according to the Verge, uh, there's uh, oh, what's this conference that's going on right now? Uh, da, 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 da. uh dive into media is going on right now apparently i'm seeing a lot of pictures of people on a stage on the verge so that must mean something's happening oh, no. um according to them uh a, a, a house of cards is the most watched show on netflix we don't know what those numbers are we just know it is the <laughs> single most watched show right now on netflix what was the previously i don't know i don't know if they have a previously i, I don't think there's but, but why would they have that on anywhere else, you know, Cause because there's nothing they else. Should? Well, I guess they should, but they wouldn't reveal something like that, right? They should. Um, but or numbers, and and I couldn't even miss it, right? Because uh, you, it, at the bottom of the screen, after you watch anything, <laughs> it's like watch the trailer yeah. for this. Have, have no, you seen the did, trailer for our original show? Did you go into uh, what was the last? That was not this past Friday, but the Friday before, or Thursday, or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, whenever they premiered, yeah, it was Thursday. Where uh, if you got went to into your Netflix app on Xbox, it was like boom! You yeah. should watch. You yeah. should watch House of Cards. Yeah, hey, you signed in Netflix House of Cards. Before Kevin your Spacey, instinct, you White Kevin House. Spacey's in your face. So so no wonder it's the most watched thing because everybody had a chance to watch it because nobody could miss it at this point, right? Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> indecisive people opened up Netflix and were like, oh, Netflix told me to watch this. Kevin Spacey, he's got something going on. Netflix right. original. They're doing original stuff. Okay. And uh, and good for them. Now, there was also a really good interview with um, one of the creators uh, of the show on uh, Frame Rate over on Twit. Um, and a little bit more about the background. There was no pilot for this. Everybody else wanted a pilot, right? And right off the bat, they ordered two seasons of the show. Mm-hmm. So regardless, there's going to be a second season. Right. Uh, Netflix is really happy with it. They went and dumped all 13 episodes right out the gate. So there's no waiting like you have with HBO or anything like that, or with Hulu or anything like that. Uh, they, they, they're saying that, yes, this is like a 13-hour movie mm. in the long run. Now, are they 48-minute episodes or hour-long episodes? You know, I'm not sure. I, I just kind of watch them and deal with it, and I don't think about it, you know? I, I just like, oh, well, I guess it's over, you know? Right. And you move on to the next one. And, and like I said, I caught the like, first Am I going to have to waste an entire 13 hours to watch this? Or is it more like 10 and 
a quarter hours. You know, and, and the great thing is, since they're not really, there's no schedule. Right. I bet they can make it whatever they want. Right. And I think they exactly. do. I think they do do mention a little bit to that. Uh, let's see. I've got one season of it. Let me let me bring it up here and see if I can get the times on some of these. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, it's I, I, it's a really cool thing. Um, uh, some of the comments lately have been uh, about how oh wait okay like the first one's forty nine minutes, fifty minutes, forty eight, fifty two, fifty, fifty three. So that hovering around about, around about fifty minutes. And again, they're not in any scheduling or anything, so I'm sure they can be like, yeah, let's just go ahead and add those extra couple of minutes. That's fine, right? But it's all right there. And, and, and you can tell, like, their page is branded a bit more than uh, any other page you're going to see on Netflix. There's a bit more going on. It, it, it's really well done, I think, uh, so far. So, and I'm, I'm into it. They, they got me. I would have watched, I, I, if, if I didn't get a certain message from somebody over there on the couch to play some Black Ops... Uh, that night where I first uh, got at it, I bet I would have gotten three or four episodes deep because it had it, it did the thing. It, it, it was like, yeah, I'll let it roll into the next episode. So uh, we'll see uh, how that goes. And uh, the interesting comment from this is uh, uh, the idea that Netflix wants to become HBO uh, faster than HBO can become Netflix. With the original content and everything, whereas HBO is coming mm -hmm. the other way and trying to be the digital kind of thing. So. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you have any thoughts? Like you're a Netflix or they're a, a Russell fan or Amen? Uh, a little bit here and there. I, I don't uh, sort of divulge into it as much, but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I do sort of, I'm intrigued by the fact that, you know, they're trying to release all this original content. I forgot what show, uh, I heard something about like they were planning on releasing, like just instead of doing like separate episodes, like doing uh, some big name show, I can't remember the name, but just like they were releasing everything straight. Yeah, like for people to watch as there is. I, I heard that. Uh, I think I heard about it in the Nerdist actually, um, and yeah, I think it's an interesting way to you know, uh, sort of show the internet's power over television. I, I don't think television, you know, is necessarily going to be too majorly affected by it, but you know, mm -hmm. it's it's something new that's out there. It's a it's a competitor. It's something that can yeah. Uh, the original was uh, Lily Hammer, by the way. Uh, the first thing that they had, and and actually, there's a list. Uh, there's a list on Wikipedia of upcoming stuff. Arrested Development, of course. Uh, some called Derek Hemlock Grove, Narcos. There, there's like five or six things upcoming on this, so they are pushing a lot of it through. You know, and you're seeing this like Amazon. Amazon's got got something going on. Uh, actually, they they had a pretty good story this week where CBS's uh, new Stephen King series, Under the Dome, is actually going to be exclusive to Amazon Prime people. And they're going to have exclusive rights that you can buy the shows over there on too. So again, you know, something I happen to have Amazon Prime because because of my shipments and everything. Um, so I use it like you know every once in a while. I was watching West Wing on there before I came over to Netflix. I like the interface better. Um, but you know they're they're getting four days later like you would normally get on Hulu or something. You're getting the Under the Dumb episodes, and CBS isn't really streaming their stuff anywhere except for their own website at this point. So I know it's it's really hard to get like How I Met Your Mother and Big Bang Theory at this point. Um, in season of, without watching the shows. So, you know, I guess I could just set up a DVR, but you know. Uh, Russell fan, what's your awesome thing of the week? Uh, my awesome thing of the week, well, first of all, to go off of what we uh, mentioned in the intro about comparing San Antonio to Pittsburgh, I'm actually entirely wrong. Uh, San Antonio's uh, clocks in at 412.1 square miles, while Pittsburgh is only 58.3. At least that's what I get from Wikipedia, which is at least – I think that was just city-based, which I guess that's kind of interesting. Just city limits. Uh, yeah, city limits. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, so I'm completely wrong. I'm horrible at numbers. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but the, uh, the uh, uh, awesome thing of the week that I heard about, it's actually – I know I don't know – What about the population? Population? Yes. I'll I'll have to get on that. I'll, 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 you I'll, you uh, talk, I'll do it. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know um, if you guys mentioned a lot of sort of like the medical like technology based side, but I actually heard this from uh, uh, SourceFed. That's probably where I get a lot of my tech news. Uh, so if it's just straight SourceFed, I apologize. But um, uh, apparently, they're developing like this uh, this remote control based system in America that can help with uh, cluster headaches. And uh, uh, different issues with like migraines and stuff like that uh, from uh, this group, uh, auto autonomic uh, technologies. Uh, they did testing in uh, mm -hmm. Europe now, and it's been approved. Uh, but basically, it's a chip that I guess gets implanted at one of your nerves. I um, I forgot. I don't know the exact nerve, but um, basically, you hold a uh, remote, like something about the size of you know your cell phone. 
like to your cheek and it sends a transmission that will, you know, immediately uh, help with, you know, migraines and cluster headaches. And uh, apparently it's also help, uh, can be developed to help things like Parkinson's and stuff like that as well. Um, and yeah, I guess uh, it's not necessarily, you know, like the most like, you know, thing that everyone's concerned about, but I do think it's a sort of interesting development. And I, I, I just found it interesting the fact that, you know, you know, they're still doing testing in America to see if it would be imp- uh, approved, but the fact that people, are, I think, are willing enough to get a chip implanted in them to, you know, mm-hmm. help this problem, uh, I think says a lot for how far we've come with technology. Um, so that was sort of the cool thing I've discovered, and uh, I, I definitely think that could be really interesting because um, they also mentioned, like, how Tylenol and Advil are sort of big markets now that are sort of uh, overtaking a lot of stuff, so this could be, you know, a new avenue. And uh, it could be pretty interesting. I think. I think like looking at how you know, I mean, we 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 have pacemakers and we've had them for years, right? So people aren't opposed mm-hmm. to putting electronic devices in them to to you know fix themselves, right? Right. Um, I, I, so I, I think putting a chip, if it, if it does something like take you know take care of headaches, especially if you have migraines, like that's something that you know it, it plagues somebody that has those issues. Right. So, so I don't, I don't think that's that's. It. I think we're going to find more of that technology uh, connecting, and we already chip our dogs, right? Um, yeah, might as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Chachi, do you have some information? I do. San Antonio has a population of uh, one point three million people. It's currently seventh in oh, the wow. United States oh, population. I, I think you beat us there, sir. <laughs> a little bigger. A little I, I, like I said, I'm horrible with numbers. So Pittsburgh has a urban population. Oh wait, hold on. Is this? Yeah, Pittsburgh has an urban population. Where is that? I lost it. Of uh, three hundred seven thousand. <laughs> oh wow! So, yeah, We're just like a small. Yeah, town. here you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get into. It. I got a few things lined up. Hey, uh, you know, kind of on the, uh, you know, I'm, I kind of do the watch on the streaming media, being the cord cutter and everything. Uh, this is another one that came up today. Uh, found it via The Verge. Apparently, they're doing different things with Hulu in Japan. I've heard of a couple other things going on, uh, but this one, Hulu Japan, is going to show a movie ahead of its theatrical release. Hmm. Uh, apparently this is they're, they're going to do this uh between only available between 9 p.m and 12 p.m uh, uh on the on uh, the 23rd or, or i'm sorry on the 19th and it's going to be available to the first thousand customers uh who come to uh watch it you also can't pause pause playback and it continues if it continues past midnight um Kind of an interesting idea. This isn't the first I've seen something like this, though. People are like, oh, you know, this this is a weird new thing, right? Um, first, I've seen it on a service like this. But I remember all the time back when um, we had, like, HDNet, Mark Cuban's uh, kind of 12th tier uh, cable network. Mm-hmm. Um, they would show movies on there that you've never heard of that were going to be released in theater, usually a limited release, uh, you know, within the next couple of weeks. So and sometimes they would do that with pay per view a little bit too. Um, kind of an interesting avenue. Do you think something like that would work here in America? I think I think that's always a possibility. I think everyone's you know I mean I think people in general are always looking for immediacy and sort of things before they happen. I, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. there's always there's always that out there. So I don't know that could happen to a market that you know is is large and is out there. Yeah, and it could be, you know, it, it looks like it's a ploy to, you know, kind of gain buzz to get people into the theater to watch it. You're only serving, you know, a thousand people with this thing, so that's that's really not that much in the grand scheme of things, right? Especially mm-hmm. for, like, a theatrical release. So, but again, the economics might be a little different in Japan that they're trying something like this. Uh, so just just another kind of interesting thing to see, see what Hulu's doing over there. But we always see this with the different services like you know hbo go for instance in i think it's finland or something um you actually can get without you know the uh, tv subscription you know and and you know different plays on netflix and everything too so oh it, it was interesting so um um chachi for poop <laughs> hashtag chachi for poop uh chachi yeah, the zombies are not invading in Montana or apparently Michigan. No, but I wish I would have <laughs> thought of this. <laughs> so apparently, uh, I got the story again. Verge is kind of my place of choice here today. Uh, 
Apparently somebody hacked the emergency broadcast signal. If you go for... over to uh Yeah, I saw this shared on Facebook like all day today. Yeah, if yeah. you go to kissfm.com mm-hmm. or 961 kiss. Whatever. Well, they got one here. This is apparently a CW station they have lined up here. So it's that, you know, that chime that that pops up over and Listen it says the voice. This is a different one than I saw. This is the one I've been seeing. So, over the... authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. Do not attempt to approach or apprehend these bodies as they are considered extremely dangerous. So, so uh, I'm just sitting there watching my Steve Wilco show, and all of a sudden <laughs> no. this comes on with this voice. Yep. I gotta um, say, no better, no better time for this emergency alert to come on than the Steve Wilco show. <laughs> the other one they're showing was a, um, it was like a, a some kind of cake or pastry, you know, as seen on TV commercial, yeah. some kind of pie commercial or something like that. Um, apparently it happened in Michigan as well. Was, is this the one they have on the free show page or is it a different no, one? No, the one they have on the free show page is from uh, Mikey's brother who okay. lives in Michigan. Okay. Um, but yeah, it happened during what uh, The Bachelor. He was watching The Bachelor <laughs> and it came up. And it was the same, the same warning and message and everything. All right, I want to see if I can pull it up here. Uh, with them, uh, yeah, I, mean, but, but, I thought about doing the same thing, but only with those uh, those flashing road signs okay. that, you, that you can put <laughs> oh. words into. Uh, but I, I, I just I'm lazy. I never. So in this one, this is the Montana one. Uh, uh, according to the article, uh, this is KRTV in uh, Great Falls. Oh, it's Great Falls Tribune. Yeah, the Great Falls, Missouri. Or Montana, whatever state this is. Uh, mm. Someone apparently hacked into the emergency alert system and announced announced it on the CW. There's this emergency in several uh, Montana counties. This message did not originate from KRTV, and there is no emergency. Scary, scary that people. Well, it was scary that people are able to hack something like that. Oh God, yeah. You know, so all this is doing is crying wolf for when the zombies really show up. <laughs> yep. I think that's the real issue here, Charles. And then who will have egg on their face? Everyone everyone thinks this is a joke, but eventually that message will be real. And those people in Montana and Michigan won't leave their houses. Or they'll leave their houses thinking, oh, well, that's a that's just a joke again. Uh, uh, I'm going to go outside and play fiddlesticks on the sidewalk. Fiddlesticks? I don't know. What the <laughs> Okay. No. Wow. All right. Chachi, have you uh, changed your Twitter to Lolacast yet? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, wait, you know what? I'll, I'll do it right You're now. You're gonna do it right now. Yeah. Twitter's Lolacast language tweak. Let me show you. T- let me show you yeah, it. You <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, and in this, well, the discoverer is without the e. Uh, <laughs> what is his actions following? <laughs> Uh, so I guess it turns all of your uh, view my profile. Um, yeah. Who to follow H-O-O compose a new tweet. Um, I love love So cats. it just changes all the actions and everything that, that's built into Twitter, right? So. Uh, it translates everything to little cats. Mm-hmm. Didn't, did, uh, Google did something like that. Google's done something like this where you can change your language to pirate. Yeah. Uh, for an actual pirate day and stuff. Yeah. So uh, good to see somebody on Twitter is having fun with that, uh, with little cats as well. So. Um, <laughs> where is it? Where you, you're looking for? Are you able to get? Yeah. Are you in the app or the site? I'm on the site. You're on the site, yeah. mobile. And they've taken it away. Watch. So here's something cool, Josh. Yeah, it's like. Um, I showed you this. I showed you just briefly before the show. So I, I think we've seen before, like like Google for Google for the Street View. They have this uh, kind of backpack, so they can get to some places where they can't get a car. Right? I think they've they've had like a bicycle version of it too. Right? Yeah. So it just looks like this big pod thing that's coming off this guy's back. Uh, they're using it to uh, map a meteor crater. Nice. So and here's a little bit, and actually here's on a little the bit moon. Of not on the moon. Uh, this is out in Arizona, apparently, where they're they're mapping the meteor crater. So I can go and you know walk around the meteor crater. 
Well, or maybe I can just do it from one spot, however they're doing this. Yeah, I don't know if you can do it anymore. What? The, the lol cats? Yeah. Has it gone away? It that's a shame. So, yeah, I'm able to walk around and check out this this meteor crater. So, that's pretty cool. So, it got to me thinking. It uh, got me to thinking. Um, uh, what other places would you like to see uh, street viewed that they can get to with just this backpack or something like that? Hmm. The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. Just yeah. walk along the Great Wall. Yep. That'd be kind of cool. From start to finish. Mm -hmm. and, and same thing <laughs> with you guys, chat. What would you like to see uh, kind of street viewed with these uh, backpacks? Yeah, the moon, the moon comes later. Then they'll find the Nazis on the other side. <laughs> Dinosaurs. Dude, I recommend Iron Sky. Seriously. No, it's, it's going to be the giant moon. whale from the South Park commercial. It's or what? The South Park episode. <laughs> what do you think, Russell fan? What, what do you think should be uh, should be street viewed by foot? I, I have no idea. I... I I'm always like the guy that thinks like, oh, these like escapes of cities. It would be awesome. Like I, I, I'm not the one that thinks like, oh, we should do this with the Great Wall of China or something like that. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have a specific thing I would be necessarily go towards. Uh, something, something, something cool. Something that I guess I could, you know, not necessarily see it every day. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to see theme parks. Ooh, that would be good. That would be fun, you know? Like, I've never been to Disney or anything like that, or, or planning it in advance, you know? I, I, I think it could be fun. I, I was always kind of a nut for, you know, you go to the amusement park and you get that really horribly drawn map uh, mm -hmm. with the the, uh, the the poorly proportionate uh, uh, rides and everything. Uh, and I would pour over that at, like, the SeaWorld or the Geauga Lake or whatever, or Kennywood, I, you know? I, I, was I just, feel like... like yeah, I do. Uh, maybe with like Kenny Wood in that, I do feel like Disney would be up their butts if they ever did that. Yeah. Just from the fact that they're so, you know, oh, we're oh, Disney. Oh, it'd be a, we it'd be a to, partnership. You know. But you could see, you could see Disney using something like that, though. Like that's something they would put on their site. Like it would be a partnership if they did something like this. Of course, they don't just mm -hmm. like walk in with their weird backpacks and say, "Hey, we're going to take pictures." You know, <laughs> I mean, it was it would be like, "Hey, we're partnering with Disney." And apparently, Disney is already doing a little bit of this too. Um, well, we talked about a little bit before about how they wanted to what they wanted to give you wristbands or something like that. So you just like flashed them if you had like a ride pass and stuff like that. Uh, I guess they already like when you check in, they have you with iPad. They have iPads they're checking in with, um, so they can you know track what you're doing and everything, which is kind of like helps the experience. Plus, they get all that feedback, you know, of what what's being used, where people go, and everything like that. So, mm. um, yeah, yeah. I see downtown Chicago to see how long they can. Before they can last before, before fainting, fainting getting or mugged. getting mugged. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll attest to that. Uh, that's very true. Chicago? Chicago's a little questionable. No. Yeah. Get, I got a I vacation once in Chicago. Five minutes out, I had somebody almost try to steal my luggage. Holy crap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I went to Chicago once when I was younger. I had no problems. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it was with a mass group or something, so... I don't know. Um, Google uh, also establishes that the self-driving cars will be ready in three to five years. Yes. yes. You ready for this? Yes. Bring it on. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Does this mean I can drink and drive or no? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's like if I'm sitting in the back seat. <laughs> can you like drink the, and you use your computer is the key, I think. Well, I can drink and use my computer. That's not going to kill anyone. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no, no. But I mean, effectively. Well, I think the question is... It's not this... a matter of effectiveness. It's a matter of, are you going to harm yourself or others? Well, I, well, no. That I mean, with this sort of vehicle, it's obvious that element is obviously taken out. Should be, should be. But or also, I wonder. Should. I also wonder uh, what kind of regulations need to be passed. Right now, the cars are only cleared to be uh, driven, I think, in Nevada, where they're kind of running trials of this stuff. Um, and and I wonder if there is a kind of um, they don't want you inebriated, Chachi, because they want you available just in case you have to take over the wheel. Damn it! Uh, yeah. Don't you remember iRobot chauffeur? <laughs> Or, uh, I think Total Recall did something similar too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you don't need to. You don't need like a giant tanker truck blocking your car and have robots jump out and try to kill you. You got to be on. You got to be prepared at all times. I Sorry, I would be. I, I would like want to be ago. drunk for that. I watched <laughs> iRobot like two months ago, and I get that reference. So. Sorry, you had weird headphone hair going on. 
It was like wrapped <laughs> around your headphone. It was weird. Chachi's hair is it, it makes it, It's making your head look huge. My head is huge. <laughs> no, it's I, I need a haircut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we didn't get our... Uh, somebody cut your hair during uh, Chachi Plays, did yeah, we? I didn't try. No, no. All right. Uh, so the Microsoft Surface came out over the weekend. No. Oh. Uh, weekend, last week, something like that. The clicky so one? The, what? The clicky one? The clicky one? They don't click. I think that's like... Uh, no, well, this is the pro. Wait, 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 look at that motion he's making. This is what... Is this what they do in the commercial? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it's all like... <laughs> click, click. <laughs> no, they don't uh, unbutton whoa. anything. That's not how it works. It's Chachi's <laughs> That's not how it works at all. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so, no, okay. So, so the Surface Pro came out. This is the big one. That's uh, It starts at $900. It's the Intel one, guys. I can run anything on it. Um, <laughs> you're still taking your clothes off. I was just unbuttoning my shirt. Um, Getting comfy, sword. There's, of course, the big controversy of how much space it takes up. You don't actually get 128 gigabytes on it, but that's really kind of moot because you don't get 128 gigabytes when you get a MacBook Air either. Right. Um, so I'm glad that's over. Um, so, and pretty good review here on The Verge uh, where they went over it. Uh, uh, people basically like for being a surface yes it's the better surface yes it's the improved version it's not the uh the the slim down version it's snappy uh, of course you're not gonna be playing games on this but it's gonna do just about everything else but uh but still it's the idea do you want one of these mm. and, and yeah, hey, alex cars is saying anyone got 900 bucks i can have and again that's for the 60, 64 gigabyte version um is this a replacement? Is this the, 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 the bridge of the gap? Is this the promise of, of Windows 8 finally? Um, they're saying mostly, yeah, this is this is basically shows off that Windows 8 is a very complete operating system, works very well in these sort of situations. The problem comes with this thing is nice uh, when you have a desk to put it on uh, and are, you're taking it to yet another desk to put it on. This is not going to be a laptop. This is it, it just with the stand and everything, it just does not work with your lap. The guy on the Verge uh, uh, video I'm showing a little bit here, he has an interesting, there it is right there. Uh, he puts it on his lap and he's just like, yeah, it just completely flips over every freaking time. Um, mm. So I, I, I'm really kind of looking at this. I, I'm wondering if she's <laughs> shown this to uh, Missy, who's looking in, a, in the market for a new laptop, kind of was interested in this. Um, I think the direct competitor for this is the MacBook Air, especially a 900 to I think $1,200 for one of these. Uh, yeah. If you're in a market, I know uh, WrestleFan, you're you're on the Mac side of things. Uh, I don't think you need anything like really high end or anything like that. What, what do you no. think of this compared to like a MacBook Air? You think you think it's a good competitor? You think it's a good option? Oh, uh, I, I do think it can definitely be a competitor. I think it can be up there. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends on what necessarily a consumer would need. Mm -hmm. I do think there's things that that you know that that it could offer that a, a MacBook Air would not. Um, I, I actually I have just re a regular MacBook Pro. I don't have the actual Air, but uh, I don't know. I would like to have that versatility of you know not having to put my computer on a desk, you know, to you know use it. Um, yeah, I, but I do think there's going to be some people out there that you know wouldn't mind it either way, and you know. Mm -hmm. I, I I could see it, you know, being a, a, a competitor. Uh, I don't know if we'll be as strong a competitor as, you know, since, you know, I guess MacBooks, we consider, I guess, could sort of be considered more versatile. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you never know. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Josh? What was the question? Uh, what do you think of the Surface versus, like, it's kind of in the price point of something like a, a MacBook Air, I would say. Um, but it's more tabletized. But it's Windows. You can run Office. You can run all the stuff you, you need on it. And that's, and that's what's going to drive it. Yeah. You, it, yeah like, you have you have Microsoft fanboys as much as you do Mac fanboys. And finally, they have an option. Right. So it'll it'll be it won't be as successful as anything Apple does. No. Just because that's Apple. Mm -hmm. They get people that don't really care. They just see the logo and they're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. But uh. It, it, it Microsoft doesn't get the status symbol people, which mm -hmm. is why it won't be as successful. Though I do wonder what something like this will do in, in like, say, your your workplace, because this is something that's, you know, uh, I don't know how much you may get complaints. We people. don't support Windows 8. You just don't support Windows 8 flat out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't, don't you have the problem that they buy stuff like that anyways that you don't support? 
we give them instructions on how to install Citrix. Yeah, and that's it. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's as far as we go. Um, but is this something you could see becoming, like, you have people that are doing iPads, you have people doing iPhones and stuff. You see this something maybe down the line when you do, potentially, when Windows 8 is up to stuff, maybe Windows 9. Do you see devices like this becoming, uh, 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 you know, better options for, for, for a workforce like, like you deal with? No, no, not at all. No. I don't think it's... It's too weird. Right. It, it, it'll never catch on. Mm -hmm. um, people will refuse to use it based on looks alone. Yeah. So... Okay. Okay. Not stylus enough then. Right. So, I mean, it, it's interesting. He's got... Speaking of, it does have a stylus. Apparently, it's from uh, Wake, Wa Wacom. Wacom. However you say it. Uh, it has one that's Waka provided. Flocka. Wa what? Waka Flocka. Waka Flocka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something like that um so I, I don't know i think it's interesting i think it's a good it, it'll be interesting to see because i think it, it, this is microsoft saying okay this is what we can do what are you going to do with this manufacturers uh, unfortunately i think this is your only option uh to get something that doesn't have the crap wire that you're usually going to find right on other things i think really i think for those people that have been like looking at Android devices as their alternative of the I don't want to be an Apple person, but they're not like the super geek person like our friends like Chilla, like like Fuzzwad, like like Rob that, that dig that kind of stuff and Tinker. Um, I really think that something like this is going to be the every man's version of the tablet. You know, to say, okay, I'm familiar with Windows. Um, and I think as stuff like the Surface comes out, I, I think that's going to line up a little bit more with that. I mean, we'll, we'll see how that goes and it depends on how microsoft really kind of pushes it um as it is it looks like they had like very low uh uh, uh units like in best buys and stuff they said that some best buys had like one unit of the uh of the windows well, yeah, of the service well at first yeah yeah so so it's we'll gonna see be what an happens. overtime type deal oh yeah oh yeah they're playing a long game here so all right uh let's see if there's anything else we want to hit up before we head out of here guys uh, well, Google, we actually hit about everything up. Um, other than <laughs> uh, Amazon wants to have its own currency. Nice. Yeah. Aren't we just getting rid of the points on like the Xbox store? Yeah. Finally. And they're, now. They're, thank God. Uh, yeah, they're being. Apparently, Amazon wants to have uh, their own version of a currency. This is going to be. Uh, this is something they're pointing out to uh, app app developers. Uh, th 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 it's so they can get loyalty to to them. Uh, apparently, it's going to be used a bit in the uh, for developers for the Kindle Fire and everything. They're actually going to uh, put out uh, like thousands of dollars, like 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 a ton of these into their ecosystem uh, to developers uh, uh, right off the bat. Uh, I don't know. I, I really hope it doesn't work out. You know, is there, <laughs> I, I think any kind of currency exchange in a somebody system like that just is a ploy. You know, for you to be like, well, you know, I, I, I have like 80, you know, one or two dollars of points that I've never spent out of the stupid um, uh, 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 Microsoft points that I probably never will. And how many how much money have they you know, gained up from that? Right. So, right. yeah. Uh, what do we guys think of this? Anybody anybody pro against the Amazon coins? And. Um I I don't see it making them instituting this sort of to I don't think it will be a huge detriment to them, but I never understood the point of having your own currency. I never understood when you know the whole Microsoft points thing mm -hmm. just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, yeah. So let's get you in their own system, right? So I think it's a lot easier when you know iTunes. You have my credit card, and I hit a button, and I buy something. Versus I gotta buy points, and then I buy it. You know how much stuff I have not bought on the Xbox because of that. So, exactly. So, anything else you guys want to touch on? Anything else going on out there uh, before we head out of here, guys? Mm. Chachi says four. <laughs> Chachi plays four coming up in three months. Three I'm months? Kidding. I'm kidding. What? It was a joke. I was joking. <laughs> or is he? What are we going to do to make it bigger, man? Or am I? <laughs> We're Fireworks, pyro, 48 hours. 48 hours. <laughs> Double the play. We had enough coffee to maybe go 48 hours. Double That's the play. Sure. I still drink it. It's delicious. It's good stuff. It is delicious. Street coffee. Get this up. in my belly. Yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Um, Awesome. Awesome. Guys, it's me. Awesome. Get in my belly. Damon Payton, Russell Fan, joining us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Uh, He's over at. 
I'm over at wrestlefanrights.blogspot.com. If you're into independent pro wrestling, which, hey, I don't know, maybe you are. Uh, that's what it's a lot about. Or you can just, you know, see me sort of explore the blogging world. I found, I found out this past weekend what jump breaks were. So, yeah, I'm, I'm learning. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, go check me out. Uh, and check me out on Twitter at the wrestlefan. Excellent. And Chachi, he's, uh, you know, you can check out what happened at ChachiPlays.com. <gasps> Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Including the entire 12 hours, or 24 hours. In 12 minutes. In 12 to some really minutes. awesome techno music. You that, that? You yeah, that? I did. I hit up it was fun. For that one. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, I was like, oh, oh. yeah, look at me go. Look at me go. Yeah, look at me go. Over at YouTube.com slash Sorgatron Media right now. It's uh, it's the top thing over there. <laughs> Uh, so you can go watch that and see. <laughs> you can see everything that Chachi played. Are you going to do a list of all the games you played again? No. Didn't you do that before? No. No? Mm-mm. I thought you did. Huh. Mm. I can. You can. I'll have to watch the video because I don't remember. <laughs> it's kind of a blur. <laughs> yeah. You had some really obscure ones. Like, let's play Wizards of Warriors 1, 2, and 3. I only played 1 and 3. Oh, no, I, no, yeah, I, one, I you two. found two. You yeah. found two. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. Let's do some Streets of Rage. Let's do some uh, Double Dragon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave the Saturn at home this t- next time. Pow! Why? Uh, I was a little worried about that one controller, so oh, yeah. <laughs> it almost went bad. Uh, with that, I'm Mike Sorg. I'm over at MikeSorg.com. Sorgatron.com is my blog, at Sorgatron. <laughs> and, of course, all the fine videos we do over at SorgatronMedia.com. We do have also a video, Unsung 46, will be uh, released in uh, within the next 24 hours. Uh, I didn't do it. You didn't do it. You were in the background, though, busy. waving at the camera. Yep. Yeah, uh, because it was shot live at Sor- Chachi Plays over the weekend. Yep. So check that out. Good stuff with uh, Community Auto up in the North Hills and everything. Uh, and all the rest of the fun videos all around, including the Wrestling Mayhem show, Let's Play as Returned, all that stuff. And, of course, in SirCoinToBegin.com. And uh, and see us this weekend at a wrestling show uh, if you're in West Newton area. Uh, so we'll see you guys next week. This is the Awesome Cast. Uh, check us out. At oh, awesome also, cast. also, oh. Uh, you can see me at the National Air Sex Championships this Friday in Austin, Texas. In case anyone's Air interested. Air Sex Championships. That, that's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. We can tell us I how that will, I a T-shirt. I will not be participating as much as my I, fan base would like me to. I want a T-shirt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gotta send uh, me. Gotta send me a commemorative T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> commemorative air sex t-shirt yeah. uh, it would be interesting so yeah <laughs> went to the air sex championships and I didn't get air laid <laughs> yeah oh hey you guys can reach us at awesomecast.com send us those nerdy emails to contact at awesomecast.com and as always we are on the twitters at awesomecast google plus facebook we are everywhere you are so you should probably talk to us and with that guys thank you very much next week we're scheduled to be joined by uncle crappy returning the show <gasps> poop watch <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> crappy. Until then, thank you, our awesome chat room that's been hopping all night. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. Awesome. We're